myositis ossificans. What is the definition of myositis ossificans? What is this? This is ossification and the new bone formation. Occur where? This is the humerus. And this ossification in front of the humerus. What is the direct anterior relation to the humerus? Muscles. Muscle called brachialis muscle. In this condition, there is ectopic ossification of a muscle, which is very common and usually occur in the brachialis muscle. Um, myositis ossificans is ectopic ossification in muscles, and this may be traumatic or non-traumatic. And the sure in orthopedic, we are dealing with traumatic myositis ossificans. What is the incidence? The condition usually complicating dislocation and the injuries around the elbow or shoulder or in the lower limb, in the hip or in the thigh, in the muscles of the thigh. <clears throat> this usually occurs especially if there is early massage of the lesion. The patient receives trauma uh -huh, and to relieve pain, the patient try to massage the part. Um, why massage predisposed to this myositis ossificans and the ectopic ossification in the muscle? The etiology is unknown of uh, myositis ossificans, <coughs> but it may be due to during a fracture. During a fracture, boom, osteoblast, osteoblast migrate into the surrounding structure, into the surrounding muscles and produce in the muscle heterotropic or ectopic bone formation in the muscle. Or um, the osteoblast. The osteoblast is adherent to the bone. And the, in the subbreosteal tissue between the breosteum and the bone, there is subbreosteal blood vessels and the periosteum containing osteoblastic layer, osteoblast which are the bone forming cells. During injury, there may be excessive stripping of the periosteum, leading to rupture of subbreosteal blood vessels and rupture of subbreosteal blood vessels leading to large hematoma, infiltrating the surrounding soft tissues, the surrounding muscles. And from the periosteum, osteoblast migrate in this hematoma to produce bone formation in the subreosteal hematoma and in the surrounding muscle. Therefore, due to fracture, Periosteum from the bone may infiltrate the surrounding bones or excessive stripping of the periosteum with formation of large hematoma infiltrating the surrounding muscles and the osteoblast from the periosteum produce a suffering subreosteal hematoma infiltrating the muscles. What is the clinical picture? History. History of injury in the famous sites around the elbow, shoulder, hip, thigh with early massage. Early massage leading to distribution of the hematoma into and the infiltration of the hematoma into the surrounding muscle. Gradually, after many months, there is limitation of flexion of the elbow. 
I said before the common site for myocytes ossificans is brachialis. There is now a mass of bone in the brachialis leading to limitation of flexion of the elbow. And very rarely there may be a hard mass felt in front of the elbow in the brachialis muscle. Investigation is this. The most important investigation is Billing X-ray. Billing X-ray show what fluffy appearance. Fluffy radio opaque shadow in the soft tissue away from the bone. This fluffy mass in front of the humerus away from the humerus in the brachialis muscle and also infiltrate the biceps. Uh, what is the treatment? Treatment is mainly prophylactic. Avoid early massage. And um, in early myocytes ossificans, minimal, fix the structure in blaster cast. We hope that the new bone formation over months will be absorbed spontaneously. But if the mass is markedly ossified, producing mature bone, the condition is irreversible and need surgical excision, especially if it produces limitation of movement. This is the myositis ossificans. The second uh, complication in this video is sudic atrophy. What is sudic atrophy? It is a syndrome usually occur in injuries in the region of the wrist, especially fracture here. Fracture distal inch of radius, which is called the coolest fracture. And less commonly, it may complicate injuries in the ankle region. What is the sudex atrophy? What is the etiology? Unknown. But it was found that this condition markedly improved by physiotherapy, exercise, and the continuous active movement. Why? It improves by movement. The condition may be due to disuse atrophy. <coughs> disuse atrophy leading to poor vascularity, no movement, no vascularity. Vascularity becomes sluggish. Poor vascularity leading to osteoporosis of bone leading to severe pain, pain leading to more disuse atrophy, no movement, leading to more osteoporosis, etc. Vicious circle. This is the first theory which suggests the etiology. The second theory is there is uh, in the clinical picture marked abnormal autonomic response and the sympathetic a typical sympathetic and autonomic response to trauma. The skin may be cold and pale, a constriction, or in some patient may be red and or vasodilatation. Therefore, most probably there is a typical autonomic response to trauma leading to vasomotor dysfunction, sometimes constriction, sometimes vasodilatation. What is the clinical picture? The condition usually affects the region around the wrist, hand and fingers, or rarely may affect the ankle and the toes. There is a syndrome characterized by Weeks or months after the injury, there are severe burning or electric pain. 
with this a case in the hand and rest compare with the normal and this severe case in the foot and the toes compare with the normal in addition to the severe burning and electric pain there is soft tissue swelling and edema ask the patient to move the joint the ankle joint no doctor severe painful tender joint with the stiffness of the joint usually stiffness is due to pain the skin is abnormal maybe red worm like this maybe normal like this maybe pale and cold with trophic changes in the skin like falling of hair and there is severe osteoporosis on x-ray what is the treatment of this sudden atrophy mainly prophylactic by early movement early movement of the fingers and all joints not fixed in the bluster cast and if occur curative to this condition what is first of all relief pain to cut the vicious circle off pain disuse atrophy stiffness leading to more pain more osteoporosis etc therefore cut the vicious circle in this condition by analgesics and cut the vicious circle of disuse atrophy by physiotherapy continuous movement and exercise and sympathetic block sympathetic drugs to avoid this abnormal sympathetic response to trauma this is the sadix atrophy and the myocytes thank you for good listening and good luck